Good morning friends. Welcome to Pannika's Tutorials YouTube channel. In this video, I want to discuss one of the gate question which came in the year 2007. First let me read out the question, then I will discuss the solution with you. I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. The following postfix expression with single digit operands is evaluated using a stat. What is a postfix expression? Suppose if you have a plus b, this is an infix expression. When I can say that it is an infix expression, you have an operand, operator and operand. Then we can call it as a infix expression because the operator is in between the two operands. If it is a prefix expression, you will have an operator, then operand, then operand. This is the prefix expression. Now postfix expression is you will have the operands then you will have the operator. So this is the postfix expression, prefix expression then infix expression. Now they have given a postfix expression with single digit operand. Single digit means this is 8, this is 2, this is 3. Don't think it as it is 823. Okay. Is evaluated using a stack. Okay, so they have given 8, 2, 3, exponentation operator, division, 2, 3, multiplication, addition, 5, 1, multiplication and subtraction. Note that this is an exponentation operator. The top two elements of the stack after the first multiplication is evaluated. If you look at here, we have two multiplications. After the first multiplication, what are the elements are there in the stack from those elements they are asking the top two elements of the stack okay now if it is an exponentation operator what is meaning is that if you have 2 exponentation 3 which is equal to 2 power 3 which is equal to 8 that is the meaning of the exponentation operator or the power operator now as i need to execute this one using the stack Remember one point, always we need to start from the left to the right. We have to scan the input from left to right and whenever you are scanning, if you found that it is an operand, then you need to push it into the stack. If you find it is an operator, then pop the top two elements from the stack and perform the operation and whatever the result you got, again that result you need to push it into the stack. So these are the steps you need to follow to evaluate this postfix expression using this tag. So as I scan the 8, as it is an operand, it is an operand, okay. So I need to push it into the stack. Now 2 is an operand, again I will push it into the stack. 3 is an operand, so I will push it into the stack. Now I got an operator. Now if you got an operator, the top two elements you need to pop from the stack. Okay, you are popping the top two elements from the stack and perform the operation. Okay, you have performed the operation. So which is nothing but 2 power 3 which is equal to 8. This result you need to push it into the stack. See already we have popped these two elements. Okay, so you will not have any elements other than the 8. Now you add this or you push this result into the stack. So you got 8 and 8. Okay, now again you got the operator which is a division. So if it is an operator what you need to do? You need to pop these two elements, top two elements from the stack which is 8 and 8. Now the stack is empty. Now let me write it again here so that you will understand. Now stack is empty. Now you have to perform the 8 by 8 which is equal to 1. Now this result you need to push it into the stack. Okay. Are you able to understand? Now we got 2 which is a operand. So you need to push it into the stack. We got 3 which is an operand. We need to push it into the stack. Now you have the elements 1, 2, 3 in the stack. Now you got the multiplication which is an operator. 
So you need to pop the two elements from the stack, the top two elements. Once I pop the top two elements two and three from the stack, I will have only one element which is one in the stack and then I will perform the multiplication between two and three. Whatever the value I got which is six, this value I will push it into the stack. Now these are the elements are there in the stack which is six and one. Okay. Now we have executed the first multiplication. Now that is what they are asking. The top two elements of the stack after the first multiplication is evaluated which is 6 and 1. Are you able to understand it or not? Suppose if there is an option called 1 comma 6 and there is an option called 6 comma 1 which you need to select the top two elements. So this is 6 and 1 is the right answer. Anyway, they have not given the option called 1 and 6. They have given 6 comma 1. So this is the right answer. Even if there is 1 comma 6, suppose in place of D, 1 comma 5, if there is 1 comma 6, still you need to select 6 comma 1 because the stag is what? Lost in first out. So this is the top first element, then second element. Now, the right answer for this question is 8. Sorry, A. Okay, which is 6 comma 1. Just for making you understand, let me complete execute this entire expression and we will see what is the result we will get. We have performed the multiplication and we have 1 and 6. Now again we got scanning, we got the addition. So if there is an addition which is an operator, so I need to pop the two elements from the stack 6 and 1, I need to perform the addition. So I will get 7, okay. Are you able to understand it or not? So I got 7 here. The result I will push it into the stack. Now I got 5 which is an operand, I will push it into the stack. And I got 1 which is an operand, I will push it into the stack. And I got the multiplication, so I will do 5 into 1 which is equal to 5. And before that I need to pop these two elements then I will have the stack only with an element called 7 and this result 5 into 1 I will push it into the stack. Okay, are you able to understand it or not? Now we got the subtraction. Again it is an operator so I need to pop the two elements such as 7 and 5 from the stack and I have to perform the subtraction. 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. So the result of this expression if you evaluate we will get the answer as 2. Okay, but anyway they have asked the top two elements of the stack after the first multiplication is evaluated and we got the answer as 6 comma 1 which is option A. I hope you have understood how I evaluated this expression using the stack. If you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.